Welcome everyone, citizens of the internet. We've done it. It only took 20 years and three life on YouTube and uh, spending way too much time day and night here with our fancy tiny little Linux distribution. Maybe the best Linux distribution ever at least. So that's what some bias of my friends say. 24 freaking architecture combinations, some of which we can't twice, which mostly is AMD64 for glibc and Musil, but otherwise um, MIPS, Enginus big and Enginus little, PowerPC 32-bit, 64-bit, little Indian, RISC-V, Super H, Open RISC, RISC-V, uh, anyway, you get the idea, right? Um, the last days I was a little bit frustrated with all the regressions upstream, of course, usually uh, breaking stuff. I even found a patch for this Firefox stuff. So Firefox now, lo and freaking behold, really built for PowerPC 64 LE at least. I hopefully also for um, like whatever the other one. I think it's maybe like system dependency or stuff because the hotfix for that I've not yet committed that this is here. Um, VA API or is it even VA API? So yeah, video frame pools. Like yeah, you can't make this stuff up. Um, it's broken for weeks, if not months. But now nah, you know whatever. It's like what's well and I slightly wonder why this only breaks for some architecture. So I think for x86 it built. Not sure. Anyway, yeah, it pulls this out. Peels, peels this out of out of free BSD. I think out of all probably yeah. Um, probably they have it from. But yeah, the, the date of this is already some days old. Yeah, I don't know why upstream always needs to be so broken, but yeah, of course nobody freaking cares about anything. Not x86 or ARM, right? So yeah, this is um, this is this kind of stuff, you know, obviously I'm not spending my time off. Uh, yeah, um, you, you get the idea, at least it, mm, it's not. So I didn't make this stuff up. I didn't halluc hallucinate this stuff together. Uh, also, wait a second, did, did I want to uh, rename this slightly differently or is it, let's, um, actually the point of opening this file was actually, uh, do we call this VA, VA API? I think FreeBSD had this called, do I still have that here? Of course, no, I don't. I think they called that patch a bug something or stuff. Um, Patrick Gavert. Ask change font. Yes, I purchased a freaking font. That is, may I present to you? <laughs> I wanted to try it out. This is a commercial font. This is comic code, yes, of of not comic sans. I wanted to freaking try this out. And why not support some creative people? Um, there. Um, I always said the point of this YouTube channel is also to support the community. So yeah, some font designer there for I forgot the name. Um, Takashi something. Oh, you could you could Google that. Anyway, uh, comic code. Do you like that? Some people actually, I mean, it's a little bit of a gag, but um, some people really like this of having not uniform characters and some people say it makes it actually easier for them to read. So uh, Toshi, hey, how close was I? Toshi Omagari, apparently, maybe, is it the right? Not my phones off, you get uh, idea. I freaking license this, obviously. As a professional YouTuber, is it? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Anyway, that's probably that one. Anyway, hope you like it. Leave in the comments below if that triggers you. Before that, I used what did I use before? Source Code Pro. Oh no, I used. Um, actually, I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's check that quickly. Uh, where is my? Too many. Uh, uh, that was. Does it have this in there? VI yeah. config alacrity font um, before that I used ah, JetBrains Mono of course I this other I only tried it for the freaking symbol stuff uh, JetBrains Mono otherwise a free nice nice free font so yeah I'm still building stuff I hope um, or yeah I hope but I'm relatively confident that the GCC update that we uh, did this morning doesn't cause a new regressions famous last words but it to my surprise really fixed this bin utils regression right previously we had power pc 64 le and only le of little and you know the recurring 
theme of the joke that IBM's latest and greatest, IBM Power 8, 9, 10 and stuff, 64 bit little freaking Indian, only that of all other big Indian power PC targets, only the LE little Indian variant failed to, to link and uh, assemble and link in, in some packages and, and source combinations. The latest and greatest IBM stuff that you would think um, Big I would freaking keep working. Um, and it looks like I reverted that, so should we? Actually, I. Let's double check that. But I think the chances should, should be zero that it builds something else. That should be. Yeah, 238. So it looks like, because previously re re reverted bin utils to 237, but it looks because the GCC update is a 40 megabyte minor version patch update that was GCC this morning, really fixed. Um, in general, good that I intuitively reverted that. Actually, did I? I hope. I know that I say some bullshit. Let's. Can never. Ah, you know what? Wait a second. Shit. Um, I didn't revert that early enough. Ah, what a fail. I pressed it too early. Ah, what a waste of electrons. Uh, was it that one? That was that one. Ah, shit. Um, so I pressed it too early. Shit. I, ah, I didn't revert that early enough. It was already built. So it's cross assembler. Yeah, okay, I take this pick, maybe it didn't fix it, then Let, let's actually check that. So the problem is to trigger that I, because some stuff built, I'm, was it LVM? I'm quite sure L LVM broke. Yeah, so I still have some tiny minor things uh, to fix. I mean, certainly finding a patch for Firefox is um, the major thing. I mean, if you want to run a web browser on your latest and greatest IBM 64-bit power PC thing. Um, actually, I should maybe not nice it here. I have minor risk five stuff of all things to fix. Um, I've, I will probably YOLO that in, in some way, shape or form if if it's also reverting the utils. But so basically that that is a final build. Um, uh, famous last words, right? But no, this will be, I I will definitely tag that, like, what what do we even have here? Yeah, we will definitely release T2 this week. Um, we have, like, kind of a little bit more than 48 hours. And a little bit more though, 36 something, what, like, three, yeah, something. Um, it's mostly rebuilding all the stuff. Unfortunately, rebuilding poor PC 64E, yeah. Did I do that without nice? Yes, I did. And the risk five stuff, worst case, I mean, either I find some quick YOLO solution for that, or I will simply revert the new tools. But yeah, and then the thing is, how do we continue? Um, I mean, certainly I need to write a microkernel, if not maybe a programming language. So we will move on. We will, of course, keep maintaining T2 because it's obviously the best loose distribution. I mean, who else supports 24 plus architectures? I mean, 24, which I'm building, not to speaking about the handful of others that I'm not really, that are so obscure that even I don't build them, which probably should work though. And yeah, microkernel, maybe a programming language just because I'm neither impressed with Rust nor Swift. And certainly, super tiny small ambitions here but we will certainly keep t2 maintained and i wonder what is the best plan um following my own regular themes here there's no substitute for automation than more automation so i will probably somehow switch to more automated testing um we just need to make a good plan for that because I'm not building all those ISOs on a weekly basis. That is too much wasted electricity here and electrons. Um, maybe we build like a handful, like four major ones weekly. And the point of that would be to keep an overview of what fails, right? That we do not ever, well, nev never say ever, right? Never say never. Um, 
have the situation that all the stuff is broken because I'm really tired of, after 20 years, I'm so tired of broken stuff and regressions. So the point would be to have more data and catch regressions quickly, right? And your updated bin utils and stuff doesn't break. Theoretically, we could even make an automated test plan that some updates rebuild more stuff automatically. And theoretically, maybe with a nice website or something of that sort. And uh, so yeah, LVM. I only wonder if I need more epic or thread ripping for that because this Ryzen is a little bit busy. And so yeah, Rust. Uh, and this is also the point of my microkernel stuff, right? And even maybe even programming languages, the stuff is getting too large. And I'm certainly aware that if you add more architectures to the new tools and GCC and drivers to the Linux kernel, it compiles longer. But it's also, it's not even that, it's some other general bloat um, that really slows this down. I mean, it's sure, I built a lot, I mean, 24 freaking architecture combinations. So all the packages might be with 20, well, we don't build Firefox for all of them, but we built Xorg for most of them. And um, yeah, the other, the other really sad thing is um, why I really, I mean, rushed, I mean, I rushed, I rushed this release for four months. Mm. Previous videos, right? We, we basically added too many features and fixed too much stuff and updated too much stuff. But I rushed it for five, four months because also the latest Mesa release gets rid of a lot of vintage and older drivers, which is really sad. And um, that is really also frustrating that some people put so much work into keeping all this stuff working and other people's like, yeah, you're whatever. Let's just freaking delete all of this stuff because who's freaking using it? Yeah, the stuff builds a while. We have even, what load do we have? Load 54, so that would, I mean, we, we could increase the load significantly. So yeah, testing, PowerPC waiting for that to test. Um, and then can I already, actually, can I, you know what, let's maybe use the time. Um, I actually, do I have HDA here or here? QEMO also. Let's see, did I have this set to my user here on this machine? True, QEMO. I also actually need to test install it. That would be the next thing, right? Um, but I will definitely do more interesting stuff the next month. And um, we also need more automated testing. I actually started to prepare that a little bit more. Um, but that is also a bigger task, right? You, you don't do this in an afternoon. This like takes a week, some days to get some testing and certainly a week to simply implement something significantly use, useful. CD-ROM surf. Um, that should be that one, maybe SMP2 and KVM and 4 gig should be enough. Actually looks like I KVM on this machine. So yeah, the question is, does everything still uh, everything still work? And then the bigger question, yeah, I mean, so, so much stuff to do, right? I mean, for, more the, for me, the installer doesn't really matter too much, but the other question is also, do we actually need a, a better installer? Um, but I'm somewhat, I mean, on one thing, sure, I'm aware that more people would use T2 if the installer would be better, but on the other hand, it works for me and I don't, really have time and motivation to uh, to write a freaking new installer. It's not really the highest. It never, it, it obviously wasn't the highest priority for 20 years. So the biggest use case for me with a new installer would be better automation. Um, comments there, Firefox is messing run, I think to have to run on the P3 these days. Yeah, but we support more than the P3. But um, do we actually do, uh, um, I need to check what we built for the P3 right now. Anyway, um, 
That probably should work with grub too, shouldn't it? Um, so, um, that should install even faster. And welcome everyone. Um, Firefox doesn't run on Intanium. Do we not um, do we not build it, or does it build and does it segmentation fault? So the installation should be even faster because we previous video even stripped down the freaking Linux firmware on to only install stuff that um, is used by the kernel. So that shrinks this in size from 800 megabyte to 200 or so less, depending on the architecture. Do I what what do we even build for? Continuum, let's rebuild minimal xorg. Um, was there ever Continuum code? Or actually, we have here only minus risk 5. I'm actually, what would be required for Continuum? Actually, now that we have so much feature rich Continuum stuff, you slightly trigger me to try what could possibly go wrong right or do we have um, I have no idea how much actually maybe I should make a uh, what you're saying old Firefox sec false new Firefox didn't try don't have high expectations yeah I, I don't have high expectations either but we can try right it's a thread ripper as uh, this um, Ryzen is busy overnight. Um, uh, 64. Do we have a comment here of why we built that for? Um, maybe simply CPU cycles and nobody has this. So um, Ipsil, so we would try. Okay, so what? Ah, right. I think there was a Rust configuration marginality with P3. I think. I mean, we. Uh, I mean, maybe it is. I mean, it, it's it's funny that we built Firefox for 32-bit power PC and not for P3. Um, actually, I slightly, all oh right, I think the 32-bit ARM one, what even, yeah, all ah, ah, right, Rusty crashed and uh, Firefox crashed anyway. All right, I think a uh, good, as uh, so this is also useful comments, right, pro tip useful comments. Um, yeah. Um, this is uh, what comments are for. Um, I think I decided that it makes no sense to ship a segmentation faulting Firefox, so that is obviously why we're not building it. But theoretically that is on my to-do also, something failed. Ah, okay, so I take this binutils comment back um, because it looks like that broke PowerPC64 LE, so much to that. Uh, did I, uh, wait a second, did I commit this already? Ah, oh, shit, I think I committed this already. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, testing, testing, more testing. And testing, it makes no sense to test garbage. If you test random garbage, then Garbage in, garbage out. LVM. Uh, All oh, right, this is one LVM. Yeah, okay, so this is so much too. I. Yeah. When you think you have this fixed and you haven't. Or upstream, actually, not us. Yeah, shit, I committed that already, darn. So that is five six eight three seven five six eight three seven. And maybe at Let's 
some comment why. Okay, at least um, not that much is lost because we actually use the old Binutils version. We can simply continue the build. That would be Binutils. Is it the right? 60. Oh, wait a second, that is even so. Yeah, recurring recur theme though, humans, I'm only human and I also make mistakes so much too. Testing, testing, more testing, then you have tested the wrong thing. Um, bin utils, so we need to be rin bin utils, LVM will naturally rebuild, I think that should be fine then. And IA64. So, um, R asks, does T2 support Spark? Spark 64, yes. Uh, Spark 32 wants to put in time also, yes, but um, yes, the font is comic code. You have um, determined it correctly. Congratulations. Spark 32 was removed upstream, or most of it was removed upstream, so that we could still build it, but only for the uh, actually open source, but otherwise not really used Spark Leon from Geyser Research. So not the origin, original or older initial vintage retro Sparks from Sun. That is really sad. Um, if we wanted to support this, well, we could theoretically support that. Maybe we should for kicks and giggles. I mean, previous video, I, I even have a Spark station, right? I made even a previous video about that. Um, Maybe we should, uh, just for historic sake, what, what we could do is we could have an overlay um, for, for which Spark? You mean, do you, do you mean Ultra Spark, 64-bit Ultra Spark, or, yeah, F for 32-bit, I mean, yeah, certainly, hopefully you mean Ultra Spark, right? Um, do we have Spark on the to-do? Spark 32 over Davis last working versions of Gypsy and Linux. Also Linux kernel, actually I take that back. Linux kernel would work only my support for my Spark station 2 was removed. So um, Gypsy, is it also GCC? Mm, maybe, need to, to, to check. Um, not sure what is with this Linux threads and, and GCC theoretically. Um, so you mean Spark32? Yes, yeah, Spark32 I only have a very old, uh, well, some years old ISO should there probably be. But otherwise, if you need the latest and greatest, um, although we could, I mean, is it even Linux threads? I'm not. Was it Linux threads? I probably have a blog post about that. Let's check back in a second. We probably can make this an update um, the coming weeks. Having an Spark32 um, ISO overlay service, whatever. We built much older stuff for AVR32. We built much, much older GCC, so that's not the biggest of a problem. All right, we can commit that here already, though. It's of course hilarious that we ju I just committed that and now we reverted it already. Uh, which rev did I mark the. I marked it. Um, wait a second, did I?
something like, oh, wait a second, we, oh, okay, we had internet, good. Um, yeah, so stuff is building. I mean, uh, if, if you use a fancy top, actually you see with two builds, that is why usually, actually, uh, this is also crazy, right? We have three builds running and then the parallel also, uh, itanium is J, oh no, it's, uh, where's itanium? Here, uh, actually it's 32. Um, even with three parallel uh, J32 builds, we have here gaps in uh, the full load, right? That, that is, of course, crazy. Um, yeah, this is uh, times where we have serial LTO, link time optimization running, or Rust stuff, like, like at times a minute LTO or six minutes Rust, um, or otherwise uh, serial configure runs the usual fun. So yeah, um, otherwise I'm pretty thrilled with that progress. Um, with what do we even, yeah, we built this with 22.4. Um, I think I had actually a note about Spark here in build all. Um, do, 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 black fin, not that's also a typo. Actually, I think we fixed this here. You see, we actually make freaking progress. And here are some more. You see, we can we can easily um, we can easily improve that. Um, maybe one day we we apply for Guinness World Record Book of Linux distribution supporting the most architectures. I mean, Debian has quite some, although some, of course, not highest priority. If we, how many do the, I mean, this is even like one, what is it even on, on this hardware? Uh, I mean, we certainly say, but this is not the main one. Oh, Debian 9 supports 10 major. Uh, is it the latest release something, something? I have no idea. Yeah, what is the latest Debian version? Oh no, we have 11. Architecture, so they have here nine, and yeah, we have 24, even freaking compiling, plus a couple of handful of could really. It means they have crazy amount of packages, though. Uh, we only have 5,000, but they also split them. I think their, their number here includes all this dev, doc, uh, and who knows what. So, yeah, anyway. All oh, right, we wanted to look this up. Debian, what do we have? Um, this was not what I was looking for. Um, do we have? to do so it's the whole package temperature 52 degree so it can't be right is it not sure which temperature it takes there no this is some other temperature wherever it takes it from previously other temperatures anyway um, yeah so watching this build stuff not the most interesting a pity that I committed this revert that was actually still needed but so is alive um, actually wait a second we were installing this stuff here also yeah so this here is probably only cosmetic 
Um, I've seen that if you want to fix that patch welcome, it probably works. This is probably some space stuff. Um, I've seen this previously also. Maybe we should and curses or dialogue. I think this is the same here. Um, is it probably dialogue? Spaces with stone. That is. But I've seen this previously also in other cross builds for some reason. This breakage. Um, Does that probably that should work, shouldn't it? Do we have so this is a muser build, right? Just to uh, if something breaks, then actually we have still some LD config that is harmless, but would be nice if. There's also some symbol stuff. That's of course not ideal. Uh, what was it? LD config. Yeah, so the list here is really long. Um, that is, is some cron. Reboot here with this. I think this should be Musel, right? At least the ISO name was named Musel. And we have grub installed so far, so good. Yeah, I mean, it, it shows that we did four. Okay, that even works. Yeah, for, for three years or so live on YouTube do massive amounts of this work that certainly shows. Um, I wonder do we have... Actually I didn't start... Oh, this even works. Does it also... Okay, it does not have moving mouse for some reason. But that could be virtualization. I had seen that previously already on some other architectures. Um, yeah, whatever that is. Actually, we probably can we gracefully exit. All right, we can't. Yeah, okay, that is a little bit. Yeah. I wonder if the right stuff comes out of. Okay, nothing comes out of that. That is a keyboard. That is whatever. Hmm, might be virtualization or kernel thing. 80 keyboard, PC, yeah, that's it. P PC speakers and input devices also. Why? Okay, the other is a power button, so far so good. Okay, the other is some emulated I am in Internet Mouse Explorer, so P3, whatever. It used to work. I've. It's not the first time that that didn't work, so whatever, I guess. Um, should we? I mean, theoretically, we could make this. It's my not the priority. You can debug and patch that. I mean, maybe it works with real, real hardware or whatever QEMU kernel limitations it is. Uh, but do we have even like input here somewhere of some? Ah, uh, here we have that even. So yeah, that that is not a new thing. I've so we have seen this before. Um, 
would be nice to solve. Or maybe all new kernels, who knows what, whatever that is. But yeah, regressions, right? You patch stuff and welcome everyone. You patch, you patch stuff daily and at the end of the week some strange combinations still don't work. The other thing I wanted to do actually, I mean, there, yeah, I mean the other thing of 100 to do entries. But I also wanted to check if we, but I, I didn't build Spark 64, did I? Because I wiped everything this morning to rebuild everything. Or did, did this finish? Am I so lucky that I built that? Oh, I'm so lucky that I built that. Apparently. That is good because I wanted to check we don't have display output with QEMU. Um, I wanted to see if we need a other, I mean, basically it doesn't matter for what I want to do. So either, how was it? Nah. still have something working. So what was it? Q info or um, hmm. ah, Q tree, for example. And it's probably using Cyrus or what does it use here? Here is some VGA, VGA BIOS standard VGA class VGA controller. Uh, why does it not? Mm, I wish it would show you more precisely the. Um, we could Google this. Okay, this is one, two, three, four. Thank you very much. IAF PCI IA one uh, A. What did I even say? One A F four eleven O. Or is that word IO 11? Oh, so word IO. Uh, for its. Ah, uh, what this is. Ah, uh, what does the subsystem I do? Yeah, thank you much. Mm. Probably, as it's really disappointing that it doesn't show the type here. I would have think that should display that. Um, we could uh, we could check the QMO sources. I wonder which. I mean, if we wait, I know if we if we specify no graphic, we we get no PCI device. Um, yeah, this is somehow not ideal. Okay, we have a boss DRM. Here's some Cyrus thing. The question is, I 
I think I saw QEMUS Clock 64 frame buffer. Uh, it doesn't boot, no graphic, platform. Um, I just looked at how Cyrus VGA works to get device to override the default video. Need to add minimum support. Uh, I mean, previously, once upon a time, it had VGA. Cyrus, aborted codon. Uh, hmm. Is this um, some extremely standard VGA? I mean, we could completely install it. The problem is if we boot it with no graphic, then we don't have that device. We could fully install it and then add it and boot with Surreal Console. Um, or we checked, would they have added that to... Or we just leave it like that. Um, They have only old-fashioned stuff. That is old-fashioned old stuff that I'm also building. So that is nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. It's also totally reassuring that... Hmm. Okay, it has Cyrus, but that apparently didn't work. Some quadrum, thank you very much. Nah, okay, whatever, I guess. Mm. So standard VGA, would standard, would this be boss? But this boss, even if that would be, wait a second, um, would this standard for, for VGA have? Mm. Mm. What? Yes, I use the ISO. I'm not interested. I wasn't. Like, I'm, I'm aware of that. I didn't generate the other one. Um, I wanted to um, see in this QDev tree what QM was using and uh, in the um, open firmware thing. I didn't didn't mean to boot that yet because I know that I wouldn't have output. Yeah, I think theoretically it probably should be possible to have open firmware based output but somehow I think that only was available available for power PC um, what would that be open firmware nah. whatever hmm Yep, so that's not really helpful. I mean, this thing should... I mean, it's it's not Cyrus then. The only question is... Would this match, match to VGA16? Does it still exist? Hmm. I 
slightly wonder if this S bus is of any use or versa. Maybe the very first Ultra Spark were S bus. Anyway, ATI, ATI, GX. So, what did we want? We wanted VGA. Was was it once upon a time a thing? The other thing is, if we would want early frame buffer, it would anyway need to be built in. So what was the point of this? The point of this was VGA. Was there not a VGA 16 thing? Was there not? A, or actually, wait a second. Maybe this was. Maybe this was not frame buffer, but maybe that isn't enabled for Spark. It probably was. It was also this text thing. Maybe this text thing doesn't even exist. It probably would also not match if we put. Yeah. Details. Okay, fine. Uh, something another day. Um, you can still use it in QA movies, serial console, so we could actually test that as you ask already. And then we call it a day and then we will start releasing that. The first ISOs probably tonight. Not 47. And yeah, the to do is long enough. Maybe I make a poll, as I usually like to make some polls. I probably make a poll uh, regarding what is the next next most important thing. Although I probably know already microkernel, but otherwise, um, new installer, more testing, um, test suite, automated test suite. Which, by the way, do other big Linux distributions have sophisticated automated test suite? As much regressions as we have, I somehow adopted that. But please, links, comments below. And we can actually boot the right one. And yeah, no graphic works. All right, this is also annoying. Actually, does it just boot default or boot CD? Or boot CD works, probably, maybe. Mm, I think that should actually work. So yeah, but um, would be nice if the frame buffer thing would also work, obviously, and, and stuff. So yeah, there we have that. And that would be the point of automated testing, right? I just need to still think. Maybe we start because it is so much scripting to test, right? Actually, yeah, okay, we don't have, all oh, right, also don't have that. Obviously we don't have graphic now because, yeah. Anyway, at least the kernel works. Maybe we also s start with automatic, automatic, automatically testing the also yeah the latest compiler from this morning right testing the kernel uh, independently of, of just running this with qemo system dash kernel stuff and see if it comes up and then obviously actually yeah with the inner i mean we, we could do that right qemo kernel and inner and see if that prints expected stuff that is certainly better than nothing and would already catch some bugs. So yeah, stuff, what did we build there? Okay, that is built fully. That is amazing. Yeah, so then we can build all um, amazing stuff. I am thrilled. I only wonder how we best keep it in working order and not have upstream constantly break it. But that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you learned something, found it interesting. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. And I hope to see you soon, as well as the ISOs for you playing along at home and see you next time.